What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Hey, what's going on, folks? This is uh, Mr. Warmack, as you can see. And this is another podcast on the Red Herring. Today I'm going to talk about uh, what's going on in the Middle East as far as what we've done over in Israel. And uh, there's going to be a figure I'm about to pop up. Hopefully it's going to show up in about four, three, two, and one. And right now he should, there he is. That's Benjamin Netanyahu, uh, Prime Minister of Israel. Uh, And what happened is Jerusalem uh, has is taking the U.S. to task because it's going to work with the new Palestinian Palestinian Authority government that's over there in in, in Israel, and uh, a majority of people, even uh, even some in the U.S. government, have said that uh, the Palestinian government is backed by Hamas. And if you don't know who Hamas is, look them up. Hamas is a supposedly I can't call him that because I don't know so Hamas because I know Hamas does great for the people. Hamas is supposedly uh, a terrorist group uh, over in Gaza and in the West Bank, and I mean they're supposed. I know Hamas doesn't want to see a, a united Israel. They don't even see a divided Palestinian or Palestine for that matter, but. uh they, they would rather us not cooperate because, like I said, Israel feels that they're a terror group. You know, they're telling, Israel's trying to tell the United States that uh, the Palestinian Authority, uh, President Abbas, should disband his pact, with, uh, like leave the pact or get rid of the pact that he signed with Hamas and resume peace negotiations with Israel. Now, but the problem is Hamas has a lot of the people's vote. Like in the West Bank, I think Hamas controls the West Bank. No, no, no. Hamas controls the Gaza Strip. And uh, uh, either either or. I think Hamas controls the Gaza Strip and the, the Palestinian Authority controls the West Bank. But they came under an accord where they had a vote and it came that Abbas was the president. But Prime Minister Netanyahu uh, didn't want to comment on the record. But... His senior ministers decided to boycott the new government since it's backed by Hamas, which you can understand. And it, uh, and, and like I said, Hamas is designated a terrorist organization by Israel and the United States. But the United States feels that Abbas and the Palestinian organization has no direct dealing or is not funded by Hamas. But they're going to evaluate the policies of the new government to see if they have to modify their approach. This is one of the quotes that they said. You know, as recently as Sunday, they, you know, not recently as like earlier in the month, this is June, earlier in June, uh, Secretary John Kennedy expressed concerns to Abbas about you know, the, the role Hamas will play in any type of future government, you know, and, the, and wants to have the principles of nonviolence. But he also talked to Netanyahu, and and like Israel just ain't like like I can I can understand it though Israel ain't feeling it. if they are labeled a terrorist group. I mean, like the quote goes, one terrorist group is another one's freedom fighter. So it depends on how you look at it. But uh, Netanyahu just doesn't want to deal with because they know Hamas is just wants to wipe Israel off the face. So. Israel wants a hard line stance by Abbas to uphold his com- his commitment to maintaining security and coordination with Israel. Hamas, Hamas's support for the current government doesn't change the United States' perspective on culpability for rocket attacks launched towards Israel. From like I said, the, it's, it's, the rocket attacks are coming from the Hamas-controlled Gaza Strip, but they but the United States expects the Palestinian Authority to prevent these attacks coming from the Gaza Strip, but at the same time, if you don't control the Gaza Strip, they may have an agreement to rule because you're Palestinian, but it's no different than the Democrats and Republicans. They may they may be one thing, but they don't agree on the principles. You know, and now the Israel cabinet's gonna like it might boycott the new Palestinian Authority and hold it responsible 
if any rocket attacks are fired from Gaza, which there have been, and if you know, I think uh, three young kids were kidnapped over in Israel, you can look it up, and the, the IDF, I guess, sent, in a, sent a team either rescuing them or they're in the process of rescuing them. This isn't, this is, I'm not telling a secret, this is common knowledge here. You know? And Abbas, he swore to the ministers at the, at, at the Gaza's rulers and the Fatah was over the last minute of disagreement over the key government ministry. And uh, now it's a, and he says it's the end of the Palestinian division. So that means Hamas has to back you a little bit. You know, but, Hamas, but Abbas is pledged that the new administration will abide by the principles laid down by the Middle East Peace Quartet that they, they calls for recognizing Israel, rejecting the violence, and abiding by all you know agreements that they had before. But the only problem is Hamas doesn't have to, hasn't clarified their role yet. Hamas is just laying in the wind like, like they're smart. I can't get mad at them. Like I said, I can't technically call Hamas terrorists because I know for a fact, like I said, during, I know Nelson Mandela, if it was nowadays he'd be called a terrorist. I know the people back in the civil rights days, if now they'd be called a terrorist. I don't live there, so I don't know. I can I, I don't rely on the mainstream news, but I do know that, that if, if this is true, the U.S. is back in Hamas. You can't call them a, a terrorist organization. And at the same time, you can fund them. But then again, it goes against that goes with the pattern of the United States. We had deals with Gaddafi. We had deals with Saddam Hussein. We had deals in Afghanistan. We had deals in Iran. We had we had deals in Syria, with Jordan, Egypt. If you look at it, and we all had we all have our hand in everything. This should not be anything new to you people. So, I want to stay tuned to this, but it looks like shit's about to heat up over in Israel. And besides, they're still, like I said, if you look at your Bibles, look at the fall of Damascus. And every once in a while, Israel goes in to say hello over in Homs City or Damascus. So, I'm out. Peace.